Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Summer of the ninth year of the of Heisei era, 1997. Let's go back to 1997. Life has a way of changing. Also, just self voicing enabled. Life has a way of changing, often drastically without any warnings whatsoever. I see a girl in a school uniform. Well, since village only has one school. That must be where she's heading. And if that is where she's going, maybe she could help me out. I approached her carefully, as I didn't want to scare her. She looked beautiful, long black hair, thin body, and beautiful legs. I hesitated for a moment before saying anything. <coughs> uh, excuse me, miss? She turned around to face me. Hmm? Yeah, she looking cute. My name is Sakura, and yours? Name's Roman. Roman? <gasps> nice to meet you, Roman son. We keep it with the Roman. During lunch, I asked Sakura if there were clubs here, like in normal schools. Please, no literature club! Yes, for example, I'm in the manga club. Oh, thank God! So, shall we go? Sure, you'll lead the way, Sakura. Let's go. I followed her through the halls, we climbed up the stairs, and then entered the small classroom. Every time I, I, I read the line, climbed up the stairs, I think of always like literally climbing up like a mountain. Walking up the stairs. That, that means that we go through the stairs, but not go. Mm. English is weird. Because in German we have literally we just go up the stairs. The room only had a few desks, and they were all placed together to make a big table. Ta table to make a big table. Mm -hmm. Yes, not the table, a big table. What even is that word? <laughs> there were some manga posters on the walls, and a bookshelf full of manga and art books. Ooh. There was also a small TV with a NATO Geo gaming console and a VCR plectrum. Two girls were already sitting at the table. One of them was completely focused on her handheld console. So we have the gamer and then we have the... Oh. Oh. Uh, what was the... What was the... Condition called again? Heterochromia? With, um... Two different eye colors? I instantly recognized the other one. She was the same girl that I had bumped into this morning. Sakura, how are you? Rika, Nanami, I found a new member for the club. Huh? Hello there. You! You know him already? Yeah, he bumped into me in the, in the hallway this morning. <laughs> With the 3D models, it was more goofier than the 2D ones. Because, just think of it. 3D model, and then just... 2D eyes there. I can't literally just photoshopped it there. Hey, I already told you that I'm sorry. I was daydreaming and didn't see you. Huh, I bet you were daydreaming about girls, weren't you? Thanks. Oh, she was kind of right though. I felt a little embarrassed. I noticed none of me stopped playing and sneaked over Sandy to join us. Don't pay attention to her sor sourness. All boys are perverts to Rika, but it's not in a mean way. Hmm. So that is the lineup we have. So we have uh, basically a Yuri, we have basically a Natsuki, and we have a Cutie. <coughs> now guess which one is the one that I talked about. Hmm. I see. I just hope she doesn't come in my sleep. You know what I mean? Again, when I played it back then, I only had one ending. And that was the, the only ending that I got. I don't know what, what happened. <laughs> In the other ones, so... 
Yeah, I can't really tell that somebody will die. <laughs> you like Sammy and Manga, plus he seems quite motivated. Would you want to give him a chance? I'm meeting my boys in this club too. Some people already think we're just a girls only club. Alright, fine. I accept. Welcome to the club, Mr. Roman. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. You guys work with a Kansai dialect, just like most of the village towns. Oh. I saw Nami just looking at me curiously, so Sakura spoke. So you already meet Metrika. Here we have our little Nami. She entered the club just two weeks ago. Oh? Hey, I'm not little, I'm 16. That feels very familiar, right, Natsuki? <laughs> huh. So basically, we have a Natsuki from personality wise, and then we have a Natsuki <laughs> but wise. <laughs> and there's no no Sayori or Monica in there. Okay. Wait, who's the club president actually? That's the Monica. <laughs> and the Sayori. Okay, I will just I will just guess. So Personality of Natsuki. Body like Yuri. Personality like Monica. Body like Natsuki. Personality like No uh, the personality like um Like Sayori but body like Natsuki, personality like Sayori, body like Yuri, no, but I like Sayori, personality like Yuri, and Monica is then just a, well, the club president. It's true, she looks a lot younger than she is, but she was still pretty cute looking. Yeah, with the cowlick. She's small but strong, she doesn't break much about it, but she's good at video games, and I mean, very good. He's the perfect tourist champion in a lot of games. Leader Fighter 96, Pika, Rocket Online, even Ter Terranet Online. Mm. Cool. So you're the dude. Rika. Rika was talking about. Nice to meet you. Dude? Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Sorry to say this, but you really don't look like a video game champion. One of these days, I'll show you how skilled I am. Eyes were sparkling. Full of energy. It was pretty adorable. Sure, you're not in any time. Then I focused my attention on Rika. Now that I have seen her up close, I noticed that her eyes were unusual. One eye was blue and another one and then another was green. The guy who's allowed to dive into those eyes will be one lucky guy. Why? Well given her personality, is there any guy who will even get that chance? <laughs> If you don't mind me uh, saying, Rika, you look like Tomoko-chan. Rika smiled. She looked really pretty with the one. No? Yeah, I love cosplaying as her. She's one of my favorite anime characters. If she if breaks out the bed with the nails, then we, we gotta run. <laughs> we gotta run fast. I'm gonna run fast, I see. You seen the show? I love it. It's a really funny anime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I still don't understand. Angel goes back in time to prevent a guy make, making all the girls to stop aging at, at 12 years old. And instead of going to around the time where this machine is actually finished, we'll just go back into high school year where he had not even the slightest clue to do this. And just having because of that, actually, uh, the future just changed. Also, don't remove the halo of the angels. Why? Let's just say you need a toilet boy for them. <laughs> oh, they need a big toilet boy. <laughs> One that doesn't break. Like that. <laughs> also, oh, it's also not good to touch the halos just because. You want your hand functioning like a hand? Well, um, yeah, don't touch the hails or else you don't have that hand anymore. Mika can do a really good imitation of Tomoko-chan. 
Watch this. That one. That that also works. How's it? That was pretty good. It looked just like the real thing. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. We saw this animation. <clears throat> Very true. I'm glad you liked it. Now it's time for the question every member has to answer before they join the club. I don't like where this is going. Go for it, Sakura. What's with that face? It's creeping me out. Yep. Don't worry, Roman. It's not a hard question. Oh, okay. It's not what, what's the square root of 5,365,236. Here it is. What is your all-time favorite manga? Oh. My all-time favorite one, huh? I think I need to save here. I started to think. There are a few that I really like. I enjoy a lot of edgy manga, but if I say that, the girls would look at me funny. Especially Rika. But it's always good to be the honest with girls as well. What should I say? Okay, I'm gonna say... No. Yes. The truth, high school summer energy, not completely the truth. Was already made. That sounds like. Hmm. Hmm. Edgy shonen. The sign and. Hmm. I think Rosario. Let's not take any risks. Of Rosario Maiden. It's a great manga. Rika stared at me. Funny, they all smiled. Rika spoke. I love that one too. The art style is superb and the story is great. It's a pretty great series. I. I don't know which which version the the real one is. <coughs> I mean, Rosario X Vampire. Or cross vampire, I call it X vampire. I have watched it. It is noise. It is just noise. The first season, of course. The second season too. I don't know if there's a third season. Was there even a movie? I don't know. But I found it nice. Um. Then the Rose Maid. I think it's the actual one with the. The, with the dolls that actually are actually alive. I mean, it was good, the few episodes that I watched. I haven't watched that many because after that. Yes, um, yeah, I... I can... There was not enough translations, so, uh, yeah. I like it too. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Especially love the dolls. I wish I could have one like that to take home. Yeah, they're really cute, especially the green one. The green one is kind of mean, but it's still my favorite one. I'm not too into the dolls. I prefer the protagonist. He's so handsome. I prefer the real doll. She's just so dominant. Hehe. <laughs> gave me an evil look. What the heck could she be thinking? I'm confused and a bit scared. It looks like she's starting to like me. Hmm, both parts. Well, at least I hope so. It was almost time to head home. The sun was starting to set. Starting to set. Rika and Nanami take different routes to go home. Get home. So only Sakura and I ended up walking home together. So you like Sena manga? Well, yes. On the same subject, you said Rosario Maiden wasn't your favorite. Which one is your favorite then? In the Sena type, it's Desumoto. You like Desumoto? I was kind of surprised. This model is a story about the living book that eats human guts. It's full of all kinds of blood and gore, more so than in Nanda no Ryu. Huh. And there's a magical girl who pursues this book with a chainsaw in order to destroy it. Huh, doesn't sound so bad actually. Anyway, it's not the kind of thing girls her age would watch in, like... Ah, appearances can be surprising sometimes. Yes, I know. Especially with this one thing again. I have spoiled one and the ending that I got. I like it too, but 
There's too much gore for me. I can't stand too much blood in an anime. I remember being traumatized by elfic leaves. <laughs> and by elf elfic leaves. Uh, that sounds very familiar to this one other anime that I know. Uh, what was it called? Um, Elfin lead. Elfic Leaves is known to be the most violent and brutal and mean in all of Japan animation history. It's so gory, it was never broadcast on TV and it only exists on VHS tape. So, I remember watching it by accident about four years ago. It was on a VHS tape in my sister's room. Oh. I can't I can understand that. That one is really hardcore. Though, I think it's okay since they're only drawings. I don't think I could stand in either. If it was real. Same for me. Sakura started me. Started me for a moment. It's like she was wondering about something. Or that she came. A conclusion about something. Rosario Maiden isn't actually favorite. Isn't actually favorite manga ever, right? Yeah. How did she make an incredible guest like that? I guess I can't hide it from her anymore. Here we go, me. My favorite is high school, high school samurai. Really? It's a great manga. The hero is really handsome. Huh? 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 And the and the girls are very cute too. Ah. Uh. Yes, especially the main one. I wish I could look like her someday. You're already pretty good though, Sakura. I said that without thinking. Oh boy. She kind of feels very familiar. Ahem. <clears throat> right, Shoma? I was on the verge of fa taking my words back until she replied. Do you really think so? Her face turned red out of embarrassment. So cute! It was so cute that I felt a little embarrassed too. Well, y yeah, you're... You're a pretty girl, Sakura. Thank you, Roman. I will not say really all of the endings, okay? Unless it's, it's uh, somehow worth... If, if it's the joke. Or a joke. Okay. She hesitated for a while before thanking me. Was it Terra being timid? Ah, probably. We finally reached the crossroads of our respective houses. Sakura. Since I don't know the path to school very well, do you mind if we go to school together every day? Ah, there we have the Sayori one. The childhood friend. No, without having a childhood friend, actually. Sure, I'll wait for you here tomorrow. Alright, thank you, Sakura. You're welcome. See you tomorrow, Roman. See you. Watch her walk down the street. Her hips were swaying a little with each step, her hair moving with the summer wind. The cicadas were crying, giving an atmosphere of something dreamy and peaceful with the hot summer weather. Before going to bed, I decided to get a breath of fresh air in front of the house. I must admit, this place is beautiful. Oh well. For sure, finding everything you want isn't as convenient as in Tokyo. But gee, it's so good to breathe real air instead of smog. Yeah. What's that? Um, according to my my musical sentence, that's a violin. With a very familiar melody. Sounds like someone is playing the violin, yeah. It's kinda appropriate for a night like this. I think I'm starting to enjoy my new life here. Why does my brain also think of a meme? Achievement of the oh, Nice, we got the achievement. <laughs> I mean... I mean, the Steam achievements don't work because of reasons. A fine date. Ooh. Dear sister, how are things? Mom, Dad and I have arrived at our new home. Hmm, yes, this looks very Windows XP like. Actually, that's a Mac! That's a Mac! What is, what is on there? Things 
here are way different than in Tokyo. It's peaceful, but there's nothing to do in the village. You need to take the train to find something to do in the nearest town. I just came back from my first day at my new school. I've already made three friends. Things have changed a lot, but I think I'll get used to it soon enough. We are part of a manga club at school. Since they're all girls, can you recommend any shoujo manga that I can read and talk with them about? I hope you'll visit us someday too soon. Your dear brother, Roman. Oh. The week passed by quickly and it's already Friday. Ooh. Spending time with the manga club is great. Sakurai is a little shy but very sweet. Rika still thinks I'm a pervert. Not me and I even started to play games on the level. Ooh. Some PSO2? Or actually PSO. Was the PSO actually back then? Really? I don't know. I know it sounds weird that the only friends I've made are three girls, but I already feel like I know I can count on them. Hmm, it's nice. I think it's better to have a few close friends you can count on than a large group of friends that don't know each other very well. I've learned a lot about manga, anime and the village itself thanks to them. On my way to school I was walking towards the classroom roads where I usually join Sakura. As I got close to her I noticed that she wasn't alone. When I got closer I could see three rough looking guys around her. It was like they were the typical bad boys you see in some manga or anime with the same exact goofy hairstyle styles and everything. I was vaguely knew who they and vaguely knew who they were. They were from our school, but I remember Rika telling me these guys never show up to school. Got on. Say it one of the guys shouted at Sakura. I instantly hid myself behind the wall. And a guy who looked like the leader forcibly grabbed Sakura by her, her collar. You're, you're a guy, we all know it. So say it, tell us what you really are. Yeah, stop playing the cute little girl. I'm sure you're just a sick pervert that disguises himself into a girl to pick at other girls in the toilets, right? Yeah, you're disgusting. What the hell are they talking about? Anyway, Sakura is tr in trouble. Sakura is trouble. I have to do something. I'm not very good at fighting. I don't have the strength of a superhero. But I don't care. Sakura must be safe. Be strong like the high school samurai Roman. Charge! I ran between the group and st started to shout at the guys. Hey, leave her alone! Eh, hey, who's that little brat? Who are you? His boyfriend? I will keep it at this. I will not say the this other okay? game. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go, guys. I had enough fun anyway. What? I said, let's go. There's way more fun crap to do than kicking these the butts of these idiots. Let's just kind of it's it's let's stay at this. I was ready for a fight, but unfortunately they ended up walking away, arguing amongst themselves. I thought I scared them. Maybe they really thought that with me in the way, everything Sakura wasn't fun anymore. Sakura collapsed on her knees and sat on the ground. She stayed motionless, looking down. I watched them walk away. The cicadas, cicadas were crying. I got on my knees to reach out to Sakura. She looked dead inside. Oh, Jesus. Also, to the to the mom right now. I think it makes kind of sense because in uh, 1997, I think it was not very good for. Her. Well, hmm. <clears throat> Sakura, are you okay? Are you hurt? She didn't say a word. I took my bottle of water and gave it to her. Here, drink. Try to calm down. But thank you. She drank from the bottle slowly. Tears were running down her face. She was definitely traumatized by what just happened. Or maybe it was just a refreshing feeling of drinking water. Bring her back to reality. I couldn't tell. It's okay, they're gone. They won't bother you anymore. I sit with Sakura in the area for a while, waiting for her re to recover. recover. Why did those guys bully her like that? There's no way an innocent girl like her could be a guy in disguise. No way. 
Ah, uh, yeah, the term, the term fanboy was not a, a thing back then. <coughs> or the other thing. Hmm. Maybe they picked on her because she was some tomboyish, has some tomboyish tastes or something. Well, whatever, that was disgusting of them. Yes. In fact, nothing they said made any sense. I still don't get it. Finally, after Sakura calmed down a bit, got up and won and went to school. Again, I want to clarify, we are in the, in this game in 1997. <clears throat> we suddenly made our way to school together. I was worried. I think I'll need to help of, I need the help of Rika. And that's what happened this morning. I didn't bother telling Rika what the police actually said to Sakura. Just all the rest. And anyway, I'm pretty sure what they were saying doesn't even matter. They just made up a reason to bully her. Those bastards! They were lucky that I wasn't there. I'm pretty good at trashing boys. No comment on that. It's okay, Rika. They ran away when Roman came to rescue me. In fact, without his help, I don't know what would have happened. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Roman. Like her about to about to about 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 to me. I wasn't sure what to say. Well, I guess I have to thank you for helping Sakura, Roman. It's okay, it's okay. After all, it's my duty to save damsels in distress. Sakura laughed and finally smiled. Sakura, I promise you right now, I'll dedicate myself to escorting you to to and from school every day. Really? You promise? Oh, thank you, Roman. Huh, <laughs> fine. I'll accept this for now. Only because I live the exact opposite direction from her house. I could I would already be escorting her every day. Same for me. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. That was really the wrong button. <laughs> Never press F. I mean, unless you pay for respects, but I wanted to actually show the same post somehow. So that looks, looks kind of goofy from, to me. I just know that I can count on you, Roman. I smiled. Oh. Rika really does seem like a tsundere, but I found it pretty lovable. Okay, bro. I felt even better when I saw Sakura's bright smile. Anyways.